So I was looking for a free webcam app for my Mac. I went out and searched for them and I found two of them and I'm going to share them with you. All right, welcome back to the channel and please subscribe if you can, it's going to help grow the channel. All right, so what did I do? I went out and I found two free webcam apps up here and I wanted them to be number one free and number two just be very very simple to use and just work. I don't want them to have all that stuff that asks you to buy stuff later, it keeps popping up on the screen. I want them legitimately free, that's number one. Number two, why did, why did I need them? Well I do a lot of uh, YouTube videos, I have over 300 you can see and sometimes I talk on my screen and I want to go ahead and have myself in the corner somewhere on my screen where I'm talking to you so you can see me smaller but you can see the, the web page as well or, or the screen as well. So that's a really good use for these type of webcams, webcams, these web programs I call them, webcam programs. So this is what this would be used for, probably number one reason. Number two is going to be a lot of people use them like in an office environment. It's kind of funny but they put them up little teeny little windows so they can see people walking up behind them because they can't see behind them. It's almost like a mirror for some people. They work really good for that. Or obviously checking how you look for the day or something. You know, you can use them for that as well. They also work on other things like, you know, all, all, you know they kind of integrate with other things that would use your webcam. But I'm going to really concentrate on like if you're going to be doing video editing and you want to go ahead and show yourself. These work really good. There's going to be two versions I'm going to show you. The number one is I've, I've touched on in the past but it's not going to be my number one pick. So the first one I show you is going to be kind of my second pick. And then the, the last one, the second one, is going to be the one that I recommend because it's free number one, has no, you know what, I mean it basically, no, it's not asking you for money, it just works really well, works all the time, and it's free, it's simple to use, anyone can start using it within minutes. So that second one, wait for, but I'm going to show you, uh, obviously maybe they'll help you, maybe they won't, but if you're interested in this, let's go, I'm going to share my screen here and actually just show you how everything works. And uh, you let me know at the end of the video if you like it and tell me in the comments, do you guys know of other ones that are free? Again, I don't want those things coming up where it's asking me for money, I want them to be legitimately free. All right, so the first one I'm going to show you here is not my favorite, but it's my second favorite, and it's called Hand Mirror. You can see it here. A lot of people love it, though. It's got a 4.8 rating here on the App Store, so you know it's trusted because it is on the App Store as well. So go ahead and pick this up. It's called Hand Mirror. Just search for it in the App Store. Um, so if you actually download that uh, and your icons, here's my icons on Launchpad. You can see the little icon here. It says Hand Mirror. I'm going to go ahead and click on it to launch it. So let's go ahead and launch it. The very first thing that happens here is you'll see a little icon that looks just like a hand mirror up in the upper right hand corner right there. So nothing will come up unless you click on it and if you click on it, it very simply launches a teeny little window there. So let's just say I want to record my videos and stuff and I want to share my screen like I'm doing now but talk to you, talk to the screen. You can go ahead and leave this in the corner. Now I can detach it by moving it anywhere on the screen you can see there so I can move it to the corner over here or down here. Whatever you want to do. Now I'm recording, now I can have myself on the video. So what are the pros of this? It's simple, number one, it's free, no ads or nothing. But the cons are a little bit different. So the cons in this one are gonna be a couple different things. So if you click on this little uh, you know, gear here, you can change basically, now the webcam I'm using to make it so clear, look at this thing, um, is a 20 something dollar webcam. I have a video on it, so go ahead and check out that past video. But if you want a way, way more clear webcam than comes with your Mac, check out this webcam. It's totally you know, cheap, <laughs> but it works really well. Um, inside of here though you can see it just has quit, it has about hand mirror, you know you can pick the webcam and then preferences, that's it. And the preferences are super simple, you can see them over here. The menu bar icon, if you click on this you can change what this little icon looks like, that's it, that's all that does. I'm going to skip this one. Keyboard shortcut, you can create a keyboard shortcut to launch this application, that's really easy. You can close popover when, so useful if you'd like to detach the popover and keep it always in front, so you can detach the, uh, you know, keep, keep this in front of anything that you're doing, so that's a setting you can do. And then you can open hand mirror at login if you want, which I don't do. But the only thing that's kind of a, cap, a plus and minus, so this is the small size, you can see how small it is. I can make this medium, and it's kind of like a little glitch here I'll show you, but if I click to medium, it'll, it'll go medium, and then it goes back to small over here. So I have to actually shut this window, shut this down, and then relaunch hand mirror, and it'll be, now it's the medium size, you can see. So it only has three sizes, and this is the medium, this is the problem. You can't like, you know, choose the size you want. The smalls that I just showed you, this is the medium. So if I go into here, and click preferences, I make large, right there. It's going to make it large for a second and then go back. So I got to shut this down, 
I got to go back and shut this down and then launch it. And now I'm here. It is the large size. You can see it here. So long story short is I, I don't like this large because I don't I don't like the way I look that good <laughs> that much. So <laughs> just kidding. Um, long story short, though, is I, you know, obviously you can change it like that. And that's all it really does. But it doesn't give you the exact size that you need. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead into the second one, which I think is a better app, but they both work really well. All right, so the one that I like the best, even though it has a little bit less rating here, is called Quick Camera. And again, this is free, simple to use. If you read the, you know, a lot of people talking about it, they all love it. So Quick Camera 4.2, again, I, I like it a little bit more than the other one, even though it's got a lower rating. So look for this, here's the icon. In the App Store too, which is important, so you know you're getting, you know, it's been it's been looked at and it's not gonna have viruses and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and close that down. So what you wanna do is again, I'm gonna go here into Launchpad. Here it is, the icon, you can see it right there, quick camera. So this is a little bit different when you launch it, it just launches the camera instantly. So you can see it right there, it launched it instantly. And again, you can move it around anywhere you want. Now there's, a, it has like a kind of a bar up here. You can see it here where you can grab it. So you may not want that on there. So what does this do differently? It has a couple different features. So this one actually puts all the preferences and stuff up here instead of like over here, like the other one had. So if you look up here under quick camera, um, you know, about quick camera, quick, quick camera, those type of things. But inside of here under camera, it's got select source, which is obviously the camera. Again, this is a great webcam. Check out my other video. You can mirror the image, which is nice. You can rotate the image, rotate left, rotate uh, right. You can save the image if you wanna save a screenshot or image. You can do a borderless image like this. So I'll show you here. So it gets rid of that border. You can still move it around, which is great. And then let me see what else it has. It has fixed aspect ratio. So let me click that one. So that one obviously just got rid of everything. So now it got rid of all that black. So now it all, all it basically has is just what you're seeing here is just the actual video. And then the biggest feature, let me actually see if there's anything left in here. Enter, you can do full screen as well, um, so that's really nice. But the reason I like this the most, and it's just super simple, if I wanna go ahead and just do these recordings, is I can take this and I can make this any size I want. I can make it tiny, tiny, tiny like this. So let's say I want a little mirror up here when I'm working. See up here in the corner, and I, I basically wanna see if someone's walking up behind me, but I don't want it to have this huge screen, you know, a huge, uh, video going at all times so people can see everything that's fine or i can go like this big or this big or if i'm trying to explain something so you can go as big as small as you want on this one the other one only has three sizes and that's the reason i picked this one it uses almost no resources or anything like that totally free never pops up to ask you for money let me know what you guys think these are my two picks quick camera is my number one pick just because of what i just told you not too bad all right so what do you think on the picks Again, I like the second one just because it gives you a little bit more functionality with the size of the window. I wanna make it sometimes just tiny and I wanna make sometimes it a lot larger. Um, the other one has like kind of intermediate steps where you can choose small, medium, large, but it doesn't give you the flexibility as that second one. So I don't know, I mean, let me know what you think. Obviously they both have some advantages, both have some disadvantages, and I'm sure there's other ones out there that are a little bit more powerful as well. But I just wanted to show people that these are some free programs. You can still get free software that actually is not asking for money all the time. And it does that, you know, it helps people with just basic things like YouTube creation and stuff where you don't have to spend a lot of money. And uh, as you know, my channel is all about not spending a lot of money, although I, I kind of focus on a lot of Apple stuff where, you know, you almost have to. I try to find products and stuff that are going to be a little bit cheaper to help people out, whether it's a hub or whether it's a keyboard or what, what name it. You know, whatever it is, you basically are going to save just a few bucks. So check out my channel. Subscribe if you can. Helps me grow trying to get a little bit more viewership up if I can and subscribers up, you know, hopefully you guys can help me out. So, and it, like I always say, at the end of the day, I'll talk to everyone soon. Peace.